it's Angie and welcome to another of my own beads videos. Today I'm going to be sharing a bracelet I made last night when I was watching the stay home and home episode where the team at home live streams as they create new things with the Ohm Studio to go or they're working on building their own bracelets and it's so much fun and it's a chance for me to play with my beads. So this is the bracelet I came up with and I'm, and I'm so excited because this is just one completely full bracelet of silver beads and I love it so much. So the theme of this bracelet is sort of things that I love or things that represent me. And now that my collection has grown a little bit, I had a lot of choice. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's really jingly, which I love. So I'm gonna open it up and show you each bead and why I chose it. So I am, of course, designing this on my one and only snap clasp um, bracelet. I would like to get a second one of these because I have another design that I love so much that I want to keep it permanently on a bracelet so I can just grab it and go. And I do have a safety chain on here. I'm a firm believer in having them to protect my investment. And if the clasp were to fail, then the safety chain would keep the bracelet on my wrist. And this is no escape, which I love because it's got this sort of barbed wire chain detail. So cool. Love that. So I'll start on this end. And the first bead I have is not quite suitable for work and it's the F bead. I got the dirty version and I just like this because I say it a lot. <laughs> it's just not very good but I just feel that all words are useful in certain situations so I really like that one. The next bead is the Labrador Retriever and this is very special because my son gave it to me. We have two lab dogs so it's very cute. It's got a little tail on this side. So very sweet, very special, like that. Next bead is Liquid Time. And because I had a very punctual father, he instilled that into me. And I am not only a collector of clocks, but also very punctual. I'm never late. So <laughs> that's what that means to me. And also the older I get, the more that time slips away from me. I just love that design of the clock in the hands and melting away. The next bead is this teddy bear. It's on a nice braided bale and this is one of the teddy scares beads and this one is called Edwin Morose and it's sort of this abandoned teddy who is searching for love and he's, and he's got a little heart dangle with him, a little broken heart. So cute. And the reason I love this one is because I'm a child at heart and I still have all my stuffed animals and I still love them. <laughs> the next bead is Naughty, which is this cute rope with a bow on top. And this was given to me by a friend who knows me very well because I do have a very naughty streak still. Then I have the Omelie charm, which represents the wonderful community of Om fans. And I love this so much with the little ohm symbol. Then I have a lock. This is called bear, which is just a plain lock. And that just keeps the beads in the center, of course. Next, I have red or white, which is a smaller sort of spacer bead of a wine bottle and then a wine, two wine glasses. And do you want red wine or white wine? And I'm a big wine lover. And then I have pre-wine for the same reason, which is just this phenomenal bead with fantastic leaves on the top and the grapes dangling. It's just amazing. There's so much work in there. It's gorgeous. And the sort of centerpiece of my bracelet is the typewriter. And I wanted this one because the written word is important to me and I love to write. And it's just a phenomenal bead. I mean, there's just so much tiny, tiny detail in there. I can't believe it. Like even the little key arms in the back there. And I really like this one. It represents to me, even though I graduated university with a degree, I couldn't find a job. And I ended up taking a two week typing course. This was way back in the eighties, I guess. And after that, I got a job immediately. So kind of learning to type saved my behind. The next bead is two peas in a pod, and that's to represent that I am a twin mom. 
and they're really sweet because the peas move individually inside and they have a happy face and a sad face so they're constantly changing their emotions and it also has this gorgeous bale on top i love it so much the next bead on the bracelet is kicking peaches and this is one of my favorite beads ever just because it is so beautiful and it's this female ninja in flight and she's kicking some peaches a euphemism for kicking ass and I mean she's got this giant sword and she's got the star and every detail is just perfect in her I love her so much and even has these beautiful eyelashes on top and obviously she represents fighting for what you want fighting for what's right and of course she just represents kick, kicking some peaches and not taking things lying down I love her so much that she was designed by Nicole of My Pretty Charm Life. So also very special because she is my friend. And after the next lock, I have bead mail. And this one is representative of my love of beads. And of course the Ohm Beads community. And I was gifted this after I did a Ohm Spotlight interview. And I was so excited to get it because I really, really wanted it. And waiting for the mail to come is like, the highlight of my day because I love to get bead mail so very happy with that one it's a really nice chunk of silver too and the packaging is really cute the next one is my first ever home bead and it's the tea bag and this one I had to get because I have British heritage and tea is very important to me and a big part of my life and this bead has so much detail like it looks so real they captured an actual tea bag so perfectly a beautiful tea leaf bale and it's got the little own bead tag it's so cute just like a little twinings packet <laughs> and the next is rock on and this was gifted to me by my friend rita and she knows how much i love music and heavy metal and <laughs> just like to have a sort of badass persona so and finally I have the chocolate bead and this is because I do not go a day without chocolate in my life this represents my love of Hershey bars and a memory of going to Hershey Park and of course just loving chocolate so much and I really do eat it every day so that is my basically my Angie bracelet and is full of all the things that I love and are meaningful to me in my life and I'm so happy with how it turned out. And even though it's really full, it's super comfortable. Love it. And I just put it on so you can see what it looks like on. It's very dangly and quite weighty. I just love it so much. Oh my gosh. Every, every single bead is just fantastic and some of my favorites. I love all my own beads, but this one is just very sentimental, of course. And I have it with my pirates. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed seeing my Angie bracelet and seeing what all the beads mean to me and getting a close-up look at them. I love my own beads.